I think when people ask me how I started doing this, it's not that I ever really started. This is just kind of what it looks like at this phase in my life. Hey guys, it's Emma. I'm currently in Seattle with Stella and Sonia. I'm currently living in New York and working on my blog called The Messy Hands. So I started The Messy Heads as a blog. I always knew that I was going to start a blog after high school, like a more serious one, because I guess I had a Tumblr at the time. I knew that I wanted to write more and take more photos and make it like an actual thing, but I was way too afraid to do that just because of judgment from my peers. As soon as I left that environment that I was in, I was just ready to make a new platform and put all my ideas there. So I made The Messy Heads. Everything is just at our fingertips or on a screen. And I feel like we all want to break from the, the screen in a sense, and that's why we're really into records and we're really into like reading old books and I, I know like when I read a book I underline everything and give it to a friend. It's just those special little things that we want in like a physical form and so I wanted to do that with ideas and concepts and put that into a magazine and then do more daily stuff on the blog that's maybe a little bit less timeless and more like currently relevant. I just wanted to create something that somebody could actually hold and grab and have and tear off and put on their walls. As a creative, you can't be consuming media and producing it at the same time because then without like without even meaning to, your work is going to look like somebody else's and it's not going to be original. So I go in phases of where I'm digesting a bunch of things, whether it's reading a lot of books, going to a lot of museums, watching a lot of YouTubers, and then I'll take a break from that and then go into my own creative process for like a couple of weeks. But I can't do the two together. So it's almost like learning time and then listening to your own vision and your own heart and taking what you have built, I guess, and all these skills that you've acquired and putting that into your own work. Writing photo and graphics is just my biggest passions, I guess, and I've always loved doing all those different facets of my life. Even when I was younger, I remember in second, third grade, I was making little mini newspapers for my class. I've been doing stuff like this since I was a kid, you know? With my choice of choosing all women, for the first magazine at least, it was about the self, and I can only explain the self as a woman because that's all I've lived. But for the second mag, I did have some male writers, and for the third, I have even more signed on. So I feel like it is important to give them a voice and to kind of help the male ego because it's so fragile. At the end of the day, I can't really speak on male perspectives, and because this is my creation, I know what's true to me. And that is like a, a young female, a young woman. The whole goal of the Messy Heads is just to be media that I wish I had consumed when I was 15, 14. I think that every girl can relate to seeing pictures in magazines and wanting to be skinnier or ripping out the 17 workout thing and putting it up and like doing crunches when you're 14 years old and that's just ridiculous and boys don't have that. Like they don't have 17 magazines or Teen Vogue's or something telling them that their appearance needs to be worked on. So that's why it is very female centric because we are what the media is targeting. So I'm just trying to get in the way of that and be the new media, I guess. I do get comments, I think, from people who don't get it and they're just like, why are you wasting your time creating media for like young girls, I guess? They just don't understand that young women have been oppressed for so long and we're finally coming into this place where we can be ourselves and really go with our passions and believe in our own voice. Everything is just bursting into bloom and all the, these feminine minds are finally believing that they are powerful because for so long we're told like the masculine mind is what is powerful. That's really not true. And we're all kind of our own little seeds, I guess. And I just want my media to be like the water to that and make everyone feel like they can do what they want to do. What we need to be doing is empowering our young women. Like, to me, nothing is more important than that. Number one, I don't mean this in a cute way or like an anti-guys way, but you don't need to be dating guys right now. You need to be finding out who you are. Um, let's walk down to the bus stop. Is that yeah. cool? I feel like all women do is try to impress guys. You don't know, dress for them. And you just really need to be finding your voice, not to say that love isn't important because love is what makes us human and is so beautiful, but you're not ready for love right now. You need to really love yourself. Don't look at what other people are doing. We, if you want to do what somebody else is doing, you're already doing it wrong because they're out there doing it their way and you're not going to be able to do it as good as them. You need to cultivate your unique perspective 
and ask yourself what your purpose is and what you can bring to this world. You can't look at like what Sella is doing and want to do that because only Sella can do that. If people tell you you can't do it, just say fuck them. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>